Hey there, Kids Church. Happy Thanksgiving. It's Miss Amy for this online edition of this week's Kids Church. Hey, have you ever visited a free little library? Did you know that there are over 10 free little libraries in Ridgecrest? And one of them is on the church campus. In just a little bit, I want to share with you some really cool books I have found at the church's little library. But first, let's do our opening prayer. So glad you're here. It's time now for our opening prayer, the Johnny Appleseed song. So have your big singing voices and follow me as we sing this prayer together. Oh, the Lord's been good to me, and so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need, like the sun and the rain and the apple seed. The Lord's been good to me. Amen, 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 amen. A little free library is a lending library. It's where you're asked to take a book and also leave a book. You can also leave other things too, like puzzles or little games, cookbooks, you name it. You could leave it in the lending library. One of the awesome books that I found recently is called Special Day Prayers for very young children. And did you know that this book was published or came out before I was even born? How cool is that? This book is older than me, and it is a collection of prayers. And what do you know? On page 47, I found a prayer for Thanksgiving Day. If you are a reader, let's read this prayer together. It says, For eyes to see and ears to hear The voices of my family dear For arms and legs to run and play I thank you, God, each hour, each day. Amen. What an awesome prayer book. I found another prayer book in the free little library called My First Treasury, Prayers for Little Hands. This book came out in 2001. Maybe your mom or dad or brother or sister were born around that time. I like this page for Thanksgiving. The prayer says this. If you're a reader, read it with me. Be present at our table, Lord. Be here and everywhere adored. His mercies bless and grant that we may strengthen for thy service be. Amen. A little later, I'm going to share the final book that I found at the church's little library. But for now, I wanted to remind you that I have placed so many of these little tree boxes at the church's free little library. So if you are local in Ridgecrest, ask a grown-up to take you to the church's free lending library. It's on the corner of Norma Street and Felspar. And pick up one of these Bear Says Thanks special treat boxes to celebrate Thanksgiving weekend. And while you're there, why don't you trade a book or two as well? We are going to be reading together Bear Says Thanks by author Karma Wilson and illustrator Jane Chapman. Have you ever read the Bear series? There's Bear Snores On and my favorite, Bear's Loose Tooth. But today, let's see what Mr. Bear has to do with Thanksgiving. All alone in his cave, Bear listens to the wind. He is bored, bored, 
bored, and he misses his friends. I could make a big dinner, a feast I could share. But he looks through his cupboard, and the cupboard is bare. Then Mouse stops by with some huckleberry pie, and the bear says thanks. Bear says, "Goodness me, a delectable pie!" But I have made nothing. He adds with a sigh. Then they hear, "Hi ho!" And they both see Hare with a big batch of muffins at the door of the lair. Hare hurries in from the cold, rushing wind, and Bear says thanks. Of course, says Hare. Then he points to the door. Here comes Badger. He's got even more. Burr, says Badger, as he tromps inside. He sets down his pole and he smiles real wide. I'm back from a stroll at the old fishing hole, and the bear says thanks. Then Gopher and Mole tunnel up from the ground. We have warm honey nuts. Let's pass them around. There's a flap and a flitter and a flurry in the din. When in flutters owl with raven and wren, we have pears from the tree and herbs to brew tea. And bear says, "Wait." Bear mutters and he. Stutters, and he wears a big frown. Bear sighs and he moans, and he plops himself down. You have brought yummy treats. You are so nice to share, but me, I have nothing. My cupboards are bare. Mouse squeaks. Don't fret. There's enough, dear bear. You don't need any food. You have stories to share. His friends hug him tight. It will be all right. And the bear says thanks. They lay out their feast on a quilt on the ground, and the bear takes a seat. While his friends gather round, in a cave in the woods, in a warm, bright lair, their friends feel grateful for their good friend Bear. They pass around platters, they tweet and they chatter, and they all say thanks. The End. Thanksgiving time reminds us that we need to do thanks and giving. In the story, Bear was really upset that he couldn't give because he had no food in his pantry. But his friends reminded him that he can give in other ways. By telling stories and being a good friend, and all along the way, Bear said thanks. So this Thanksgiving, let us be reminded from our friend Bear that we can give to our friends by sharing stories, friendship, offering chore help, and much more. And we can always say thanks. Happy Thanksgiving! The last book I wanted to show you that I got from the Lindy Library is called Growing Day by Day, three hundred and sixty-five daily devo for boys. 
which is silly because girls can read them too. I'm reading it right now. Devos is just a short word for devotion. Devotion is something that we devote or promise to read often. We are told that we are supposed to be in God's word every single day. So a devo or a devotional helps us do just that. The Veggie Tales are a group of fun, loving fruits and vegetables that share stories of God's word. Make sure you ask a grown-up to help you find all of the stories, DVDs, video games, and songs that the Veggie Tales have. They're online and also you could buy them or even find them sometimes in little libraries. Let's be reminded that the Bible is a library full of God's love to us. I flipped through the day-to-day -day devotional from the Veggie Tales book, and on day 338, I came to the power of praise, which is so great for our Thanksgiving online kids' church. This devotion is centered around the scripture from the book of Psalms. Remember, there are 66 books in the Bible, just like Root 66, and the book of Psalms is in the Old Testament, or before Jesus was born. In fact, if you open up your Bible to the middle, you probably are in the book of Psalms, or pretty close to it. In Kids Church, I often ask you to close your eyes and start a mental movie or a brain movie about what I am reading. So let's try it now as we read this devotion. Go ahead, close your eyes. And as I'm reading the words, imagine the words coming to life like a movie in your brain. What is it like to praise God? Joy thankfulness, happiness, blessing. All of these things are rolled up into every moment that we praise God by telling him how great he is and how much we love him. Nothing makes your relationship with God quite as wonderful as praise. When you praise God, he hears you and answers you. He pours out all the blessings of heaven upon you. And before you know it, whatever troubles or problems you may be dealing with don't seem so bad. There is really nothing as powerful as praise. Now go ahead and open your eyes. What did you put into your mental movie? I thought about how I am on a swing praising God in a beautiful sunny day and how God could be sitting right next to me, swinging next to me. If you want, why don't you draw a picture about what your mental movie was all about? As we continue with our Devo, we see that the thought of the day is praise God all the time, everywhere, and every day. The end of the devotion closes in prayer. Remember, prayer is a great way to talk to God. It says, pray today. And why don't we do a say and repeat? I'll say it and you repeat it. Ready? Dear God. You are great, God. And I love you. Thank you for taking care of me. Amen. Well, that's a wrap on today's Online Kids Church as we celebrate thanks and giving and shared a lot of special books. I hope you're able to visit a free little library in the coming days, even if it's not the one at church. Before we go, let's say together the prayer that Jesus taught us to say, the Lord's Prayer. I invite you to say it along with me. Let us pray. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thanks for joining me, Kids Church. Jesus loves you.